السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وكل عام وأنتم بخير بحلول شهر رمضان المبارك الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا وحبيبنا وقائدنا سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين أما بعد قال ربكم في الكتاب المبين عن هذا الشهر المبارك الذي كان حبيبنا وقائدنا سيدنا محمد يبشر المؤمنين ويبشر صحابته بأن يقول لهم أتاكم شهر مبارك فلذلك تحيتنا فيه رمضان مبارك علينا وعليكم وعلى الأمة وعلى الإنسانية جمعاء All praise in you to Allah, the Almighty. Allah, the Creator. Allah, who created us and created everything in this life for us. So we may live and enjoy, but be righteous. And may the peace and blessing be upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. The Prophet who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala choose as a mercy to mankind. And reveal to his heart the revelation, the Quran. That this month, the month of Ramadan, is the anniversary of the revelation of the Holy Quran. And that's why we celebrate the month of Ramadan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the Quran in this month. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, used in the night of, Ra of, the night of Ramadan. He used to bring glad tidings to his companion, to the believer, and he will say that you are going to welcome the month, the blessed month of Ramadan. And that's why you receive a greeting all the time, Ramadan Mubarak, Ramadan Mubarak, Ramadan is blessed, Ramadan is blessed. Why is it? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not make fasting specifically for the Muslims. But he said in the Holy Quran, بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون Allah the Almighty in his infant wisdom revealed the scripture and the verses in Surah Al-Baqarah, verse number 183, when he say, O oh, who you believe, fasting prescribed unto you, as prescribed to the people before you, for a reason, that you may attain the self-restraint, the self-restraint. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us, that the fasting is for adopting the highest code of morals, this self-restraint. In the month of Ramadan, we fast. We fast from dawn to sunset. How we are going to welcome Ramadan? As of yesterday, we should have had the intention to fast the whole month of Ramadan, the 30 days of the month of forgiveness, the month of mercy, the month of the freedom from the hellfire. So we make the intention, and in the morning, before the Fajr, we start our suhoor. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said the blessed meal of suhoor. So we wake up in the morning, we gather, and we consume the food of Zuhur that will help us through the days to fast for the love of Allah the Almighty. Because Allah said, Fasting is for me and I will reward you. And the reward in Ramadan from Allah the Merciful, from Allah the Creator, from Allah the Giver, the Taker, the Maker, the Shaker, 
from Allah, the wise, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who's saying to you that he is so generous to bless you with the great reward in the month of Ramadan. So, in Ramadan, the day that you fast, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, you are going to have a special gate in the hereafter to enter heaven. And those, not for everyone, but those for the fasting people who fast for the love of Allah, they call it the gate of Arrayan. So during the day of fasting, what shall I do? Shall I continue, resume my duty as I do it every day or not? Or sleep all day, wake up all night? No, brothers and sisters, the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to go about his day to do what he can to serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he will adopt the taqwa, the self-restraint by guarding the tongue, guarding the heart, guarding the eyes, and not just only abstaining, but also doing. The Prophet used to fill his days with the members of Allah. Yadkulullaha kathira, kathira, a lot. To remember Allah and be thankful, be grateful for all what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us. Because Allah, Allah's bounty is beyond count that you and I cannot count. Eh? During this day, in these special circumstances of COVID-19, that we should do what we can as a believer. We should help. If you are from the medical first line, please, please, we pray to you and we pray to your family, but continue because what you do is you saving life and saving lives is the first thing that we do in our faith, in our religion as Muslims. So during the day, you abstain from all the ill things which is ill behaviors. So you don't use your tongue as you use it when you are and you shouldn't. So you use your tongue to remember Allah, to be thankful, to be grateful. You're using your hand to give and you give charity for the love of Allah. You help to feed those, they are needy. Those, they don't have any. Those elderly, they cannot leave their homes. They need their food, their meds, whatever. So you, can increase your reward in the month of Ramadan. Because this month is a month, as we said, mercy, that we shall share. Forgiveness from Allah for what we do. And we did. Because Ramadan to Ramadan is a forgiveness which in between them. So brothers and sisters, believing brothers and sisters, we all enter the month that do not waste, because the Prophet said, Al-Mahroom man hurima hadha shahr, man hurima min thawabi hadha shahr. Those, they are really lost, so they lost to gain the reward in this month. So if you are healthy, alhamdulillah, young, you'll be able to fast, do it. But for the, they cannot do it, for sickness, or they cannot because of old age and they can fast. Those, they are really working in the first line to defend the people from Corona and what have you. Those they can, as the fatwa came to them, they can, don't have to fast. Those, they cannot for old age, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgiving them and he said you feed the people on every day that you break fast. Those they cannot fast for certain circumstances, after Ramadan, if they can, they can make it. They don't have to pay for any. But if they want to give from their hearts, please let them give. Because giving is the most honorable thing in this life. You're giving your time, you're giving your wealth, you're giving from your money, you're giving from your knowledge, you're helping people in any way, form or shape, Allah will reward you. And Allah will multiply it up to 700 times. I will repeat it. Multiply it to 700 times. You know this Sabah Asanabil? 
في كل سنبلة مئة حبة والله يضاعف لمن يشاء so this grain and each one has a 100 7 by 1 is 700 and Allah will multiply it to those sincere at their heart in Ramadan the Prophet used to be so fast in giving charity faster than the wind so you give by your right so your left hand doesn't know what you gave so I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to count me and you all from among them during the month of Ramadan that we have and we use to invite people to break fast with us this time because of the social distances we cannot do it but if you've been invited say thank you I accept the invitation so the invitee will have the reward and you will have the reward and you could share through any tools any social media tools among them yourself to communicate with your brothers and with your families and with your neighbors with your invitees and you can gain the reward by that now they invite you for breaking fast then you give similar to those that are in need to break the fast for the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brothers and sisters I don't want to make it long for you I want just today on the first Friday of the month of mercy forgiveness and freedom from the high fire I want to greet you I want to commend you I want to thank you because you are a community of hamd praise a community of thanks a community of generosity the community that you gave so I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to unify us all under his word to unify our hearts and make us to be rewarded make us to come back to be humble hearts make us to be the best as Allah said kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijat nas not by blood no it's by action so let us put our effort together and let us give for the love of Allah let us work to show people who we are as a generous helper volunteers do everything we can to combat the COVID-19 this disease this virus so I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and yet fa'anna da'a wal bala'a wal waba' I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to lift the sickness the viruses the calamity from all of us from all of us and from all the Muslims and from all the people of the world that they share with us all of these so may Allah bless you May Allah reward you. Ramadan Mubarak. Blessed Ramadan to you, to your family. Oh Allah, we pray to you to accept our fasting, to accept our prayer at night, to accept our recitation to the Quran. And Allah said, Idoni astajib lakum. So let us pray sincerely and devotedly from our hearts as he finished talking about Ramadan and said, وإذا سألك عبادي عني فإني قريب أجيب دعوة الداعي إذا دعان فليستجيبوا لي وليؤمنوا بي لعلهم يرشدون If my sincere servant ask about me tell them I'm so close let them pray and I will respond and answer them as they pray Allah سبحانه وتعالى will grant you what you pray for your great faith and he will make you among those Rashidin, wise men and women. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi.